Hey everyone, this is Miguel with the HML here with uh, Elias and Patsy of Sonata Artica. How are you guys? Good, how are you? Pretty good. good yeah. Pretty good. Uh, how has been the tour for Sonata Artica so far? It's been really good. Yeah. Um, yeah we've been touring now for a month. Yeah, mm -hmm. five weeks. Yeah, we still Two have. weeks yeah. still to go, so yeah. everything's good. Um, with the inclusion of the nine hour, uh, how this set list looks like? We play a lot of new songs from the yeah. new album, maybe five new wow. songs, yes. or something like that. Yes, that's a lot. Yeah, and so then, it's way different from last time. Yeah. yeah, I think it's completely different. Maybe a few songs are the same. But yes, we uh, started to or decided to change the old songs as well mm -hmm. on yes. previous tours. And We've had that played three years, I think, because we played that uh, Ecliptica Revisited mm -hmm. tour as well mm -hmm. uh, after the uh, Paris Child tour. So that's that was the reason that we wanted to change also those Ecliptica songs to new old songs. <laughs> how, old, for, uh, how far back are you guys going on this tour, on the old songs? Yeah, I mean, we play songs from all the albums, mm -hmm. of course. Yeah. Even from Ecliptica, one song. Yes. Yeah, and Silence and uh, all of them, I guess. Now, talking about the Nine Hour, the album has been out for a while now. And how has been the reception of the people towards it? More exactly, the reception of the live setting. Well, I think um, people really enjoy the new songs when we play them live. Mm -hmm. uh, we try not to read comments from the internet <laughs> yeah, right. because it's always the same but I think um, what I see myself is that uh, fans are loving the new album yeah and uh, of course we always have haters <laughs> <laughs> well I, I think I mentioned this to Tony uh, when doing the promotional days of the album mm -hmm. as I find that the album was one of the heaviest since you guys came back uh, last from the previous release, but uh, in your opinion, like Elias mm -hmm. and Patsy, uh, what's your favorite song of the nine hour to play like exactly for the mm -hmm. new album? Uh, for me, it's, I think it's uh, closer to an animal. The opening song, it's really rock, rock yeah. oriented, mm -hmm. heavy metal song, so mm -hmm. it's really fun to play. Also, of course, that's. Mm -hmm. uh, the show opening song as well, so there's extra energy on that one after right. you, you are mm -hmm. playing that after the entertainment. And I, I like to play We Are What We Are because oh. I think we managed to make a great ballad this time again, but even I think it's the song is really, it gets you. Yeah, it's yeah. quite emotional. Mm. Well, I mean, talking about probably what is next for Sonatartica, with this year pretty much ending, uh, what, where are we going to see you guys next year? What is the plan for next year? Uh, on tour. <laughs> yeah, on tour. on tour. We have yeah. some shows in Finland yeah. mm -hmm. uh, early next year, and then we are going to South America. And Europe. And Europe, yeah. And then it's summer, and there are festivals, and then it's again uh, fall, and then. Mm -hmm. Hopefully we are coming back to Norway. Yeah, and we are, do, we are doing Asia as well. Yeah, Japan as well. Any summer festival we should put in our calendars? Mm. Bakken. Yeah, they are in Europe. Okay. But yeah, yeah. there's... Is that the old one? No, no, there's going to be a lot of them. But I, I'm not sure. Are there really public information yet? <laughs> yeah, right. And are you guys, I mean, this is a little bit premature, but are you guys working on some new stuff that it kind of like continues with what the nine, like, the nine hours study? Uh, I'm not, I, I really don't know. <laughs> I mean, because Tony writes all the stuff. Right. And uh, I think he has some ideas already. I mean, yeah, last, but last night he but was... I think, think that he hasn't started that process yet, no. right. on, on, on that way that he mm. started to think what is going to the next album. But he's a composer, I think he composed all the time. Mm. Mm. You guys were mentioned in South America, and, and I know that that's a huge market for Sonata Africa and for the type of music that you guys play. 
is quite huge down in, in down south of the border. We have people down there with the season of the Anika next year. We're talking about probably April, May, or after the summer festival. I think it's it's gonna be sometime it's it's spring. late spring. It's yeah, spring. before summer. Yeah, I suppose May. Yeah. April, May. May. Yeah, may, maybe. May. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> well, with, with two weeks more on the road, do you have any messages for the fans out there that still have to see some Antarctica because you guys are going back to the East Coast in this? Mm. You guys kind of made this curve into the East Coast, right? I hope to see as many people as possible to come to see our show. Yeah, right. I think that it's worth to see. Yeah, and it's always nice to see. Uh, if you see familiar faces in the audience, it's always nice yes. to notice that you know the same fans are coming, keep coming back. So. Well, thank you guys so much for taking the time and definitely looking forward for listening to some of the new songs from uh, the Nine Hour, as we didn't get the chance to listen to many of them last time you guys came here in Tucson. So it was a little bit before the album was mm. released. So. We're looking forward for those five, six months in place. Yeah. Great.